Jarvis, they're after the data spine. Get Rody on the line and give him our position. Yes, sir. Safeguarding the sense net now. You have a secure channel. Rody, I'm at the data spine. That's their sole target. The rest of this attack is a ruse. What? Why there? EMP ordnance detected, sir. No, 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 no! Multiple signatures. There, buddy. I, I think I might be having a heart attack. I can't move. My chest. Jarvis, if you can hear me, kick in the emergency power. Someone's coming. We on? Good. I am Iron Man. I said it, and I mean it. I'm a superhero, and uh, I'm telling you, it's amazing. But what does it mean? Save the world, change the world, what does it mean? I mean, sure, it's great to say, it's great to start foundations and give speeches and raise a glass and tell ourselves we're making the world better. But tell me, how can one guy save the world? It's not like I'm out of ideas. I'll tell you what it is. It's like every time I start to get my head around something really beneficial to mankind, like the Free Energy Initiative or Global Climate Control. Some genius shows up with an army of killer robots or some other ridiculous scheme for world dominance, and I have to drop everything and knock heads together. Take Roxxon. Great company, smart people. Not stark smart, but smart enough. And they're trying to make an army of iron men. They can't even fit an operator in there. So they're literally brain dead. Tony, it's me. We got a thing. Talk to me, Rody. Action at the Stark Archives, Chief. Suit up. It's a big job, dear hearts. Trust me. And I'm the man for it. I am Iron Man. You wanted the best, you got the best. And I'm not gonna lie to you. I have no idea how to save the world. But I've been having a hell of a time making it up as I can run. Password is... three... Point one four one five nine martini lunch. Now wake up! Power reserves coming online. Too slow. All I've got are visuals and rapidly dwindling life support here, man. Ground movement restored, sir. But all defensive shields and weapon systems are still inoperative. Hurry it up. Roxxon's knocked down the data spine shield with their EMPs. I'm the most sophisticated AI Fluxnet ever conceived. Rebooting takes some time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Punish me for being a genius, why don't you? Server motor power restored. You can move again, sir. Limited repulsor power restored. Low speed flight is possible. Weapons power is still unreliable. The archive security systems are not online. Unfortunately, the EMP has scrambled all passcodes. Great, I have to hack my own door. Where the hell are my repulsors? 
pulses online. Start archive upload at 66%. Let's just hope they haven't blown the data spine's auxiliary shield generator. Do you have an alternate plan that they have? Sir? Yeah, but you don't want to hear it. Stark data spine is progressing. Fortunately, we are nearing the auxiliary shield generator. Placing a nav marker now. Scanning the auxiliary shield generator now. It seems all beats to hell. Plan B. We get ourselves to the core of the data spine. Get my unit beam online. I'm still in the main archive building. I need you to hold off these rocks on goons long enough for me to cause an overload in the Stark data spine. But the detonation sequence is going to take some time. Wait, wait, wait. Did you just say you're gonna blow yourself up? Don't be silly. I'll fly out in the nick of time. See? Progress already. Jay, put Tony's, uh, power overload progression on my dashboard. Yes, sir. Sinking the sense net now. Tone, listen. If this doesn't work, they can't have Jarvis, I told you that. If this doesn't work, then I will blow myself up. You see the beam of light? Is that how these rocks on guys are uploading Jarvis? An archived version of my stem code, yes. It's not the same thing. to multiple targets with certain weapons. Get here as fast as you can. Copy that. The small aerial drones carry data transmission optics. Got it. Take out the little guys with the lasers.
they get too much, I'll have to blow it. Without a time delay. This wasn't. No, sir. Pepper, we're en route to the plane. We have an emergency. Tony. Tony, how bad is this? I mean, really. I'll tell you on the plane. Come on. ready to work. I've been doing some thinking. This was a kidnapping. What? Come on, let's go. Chop, chop. Kidnapping? There was nobody there to kidnap. I shall try not to be offended, Miss Potts. Thank you, Jarvis. See, Pep, this whole thing was to cover the attempted kidnapping of my butler. There was a massive data transfer during the fight. They stole a backup copy of Jarvis. And Tony's doing the whole nonchalance bit right now, but trust me, he's worried as hell. Hush, you. They stole a portion of Jarvis. Well, okay, a big portion, like 98% big, but who's counting? Back up, Tony. Who could possibly be qualified or capable of running a system that massive? Not to pat myself on the back. <laughs> of course not. But what makes Jarvis Jarvis is that he learns. He has experiences and memories thanks to a massive neural web. You need a lot of hardware and power for that. That means government backing. Russia has been persistent about licensing an Iron Man program from us. Maybe they got tired of being told yet and made a deal with Roxxon. Roxxon's the only source of viable combat drones out there after they bought out Hammer. But Russia wouldn't risk this. Not officially, but I know who would. General Valentin Shadowlon. Didn't he just declare himself emperor or something? President. He controls the Tesla energy program for the Russian military. With Roxxon hardware, his insurrection might succeed. Gold stars for everyone. 
Jarvis, we're going east. Round of white Russians? Cheers, everybody. We're about to shut down a rogue Iron Man program before it has a chance to get anybody killed. Well, you got a plan, Tony? Other than, hey, Rhodey, fly us into Russian airspace during an insurrection. No worries. We'll just hitch a ride the rest of the way. Stormbreaker 1, you there? This is Stormbreaker 1. What can we do for you today, Rain Man? You look fantastic, Nikki. Loving the new do. Say, can we trouble you... A little respect wouldn't hurt. Of course. Permission to land, director. Oh, and we'd like to look around a little bit. Uh, inside Russia, near the Tesla. We're responding to a direct request from the Russians now. Separatists have seized control of the Tesla facility using a heavy battle platform we've not seen before. Ten gets you twenty, we've seen it before. We just had a minor incursion into the Stark archives. The kind that leaves smoking craters. That's all blind coincidence. And I don't believe in them. This is connected, trust me. War Machine to Shield, I'm sending you updated infield surveillance of the canyon defenses. Over. Copy that, Colonel. Sinking now. Bingo! They match our tactical satellite imagery of the area. At least we know what we're dealing with. Over. Just making sure. Remember, this region has been completely overrun by Shadowlops insurrectionists. So consider anything in these canyons open game for fire. Stormbreaker 1 to CAS leader, your weapon's free. Colonel Rhodes, just keep the Vanguard under radar. The helicarrier has already started its assault on the other side of your position. Over. Roger that. You heard the boss, boys. Keep it low and slow for the duration. Guys, the lingo is coming. Can we just... Uh, wait, guys. Jarvis is reading radar cloak ordinance coming up. Upgrading your HUD from here, Rhodey. See them now? Yep, see him. Good catch. Pretty clever cloak design. Rocks on, most like. File it for analysis, Jarvis. 